The Lord of Hunger, Darth Nihilus, was a Dark Lord of the Sith of Legends, surviving during the time of the Jedi Civil War. The war between the Republic and the Mandalorian Crusaders cost him his humanity. When the mass shadow generator was activated during the final battle at Malachor V, Nihilus survived the destruction, but the superweapon created a spatial phenomenon known as a mass shadow that destroyed nearly everything in its wake, causing a void in the Dark Lord which made him crave Force energy. His presence was described by Force users as a wound in the Force. He was found and apprenticed by Darth Treya, a former Jedi, and trained at the Treyas Academy on Malachor V. Joined by Darth Sion, Nihilus and Treya became known as the Sith Triumvirate. Darth Treya was the master of the three, but as the Lord of Pain and Lord of Hunger grew in strength, so did they grow tired of Treya's teachings. Together they severed their master from the Force and cast her out of her own academy. But the wound in Nihilus continued to grow. He used the dark side of the Force to capture his spirit within his mask and armor to sustain his life. Then he and Darth Sion began to purge the galaxy of the Jedi. Nihilus alone was responsible for the destruction on planet Katar 3900 years before the Battle of Yavin. He killed and absorbed the Force energy of every living organism on the planet, including the Jedi. But he spared a Miraluka woman known as Mrs. Mar. The Dark Lord took her as his apprentice and trained her to be his shadow hand. As time ticked forward, Nihilus sensed the presence of a Jedi exile, Mitra Surik, and he sent his shadow hand to eliminate her. Surik was joined by his former master, Darth Treya, but the Sith Lord was now known simply as Kreia, and she was aiding the exiled Jedi in her mission to relocate the Jedi Masters who survived the Purge a year earlier. Visis Mar attempted to destroy the exile but failed in her mission. Mitra then convinced the Dark Sider to join the Light Side of the Force, while Kreia manipulated the Lord of Hunger to attack Telos IV. He believed he was attacking a Jedi Academy full of Force sensitives, but only the Headmistress was there. His flagship, the Ravager, was met with opposition from a Mandalorian fleet meant to be a distraction. Meanwhile, his ship was boarded by Mitra, Mar, Mandalore the Preserver, and a number of Mandalorians. The Jedi Exile and her companions ended the Lord of Hunger, and the Mandalorians destroyed the Ravager. But it is said that the Sith Lord's mask and armor were collected and brought to Korriban, where his soul still survives and can be contacted with his own Sith Holocron. Subscribe and follow for more Star Wars content.